All right, so let's jump back into uh, it. We, what did we do last time? Oh, that's right. Last time we, oh, we don't say I gotta do this Bomberman thing again. But yeah, last time we took on the, um, that's right. Last time we took on the, um, Bomberman sort of boss, didn't we? The 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 sisters, the twins, and um, we are hunting down the um, mystery person. And uh, so I don't have bombs anymore, right? How am I supposed to blow up stuff if I don't have bombs? I suppose I'm not. All right, well, I guess we can only go one way then if we don't have uh, any bombs. And that'll be this way. I think it's where we started though, isn't it? Yeah, this is the... Uh, this is the start of the mines. Seems like all the guards and everybody are now uh, working again though. Which, uh, when we came in here before, they were sort of all destroyed a little bit, weren't they? So, I'm not really sure where we need to go. That's the problem with um, streaming and taking a break. You kind of lose sight of um, what it is you was trying to do. So let's just try and um, get our bearings a little bit here. Yo, crazy, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Rocking that uh, bronze knock badge now, I see as well. Which is pretty cool. There's an old guy there, so maybe we'll, um, we'll go talk to him and see what he has to say. After we've um, gathered some more funds, of course. Never have too much money. No worries. I still wonder how we how he found my treasure so quickly. Okay. So I guess that's the old guy. Um, we came here before, didn't we? And there was all these. Um, it was like chop three plants down and play my game sort of thing. Um, and we got like completely and utterly, um, like, yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, no worries, Mika. Tell him I said hi back. But, uh, yeah. Not a problem at all. Go back to Geneva and see... If there's anything we're missing over here, maybe. This is before the traders, isn't it? Get out. Poor dog, he seems to have lost his marbles. You think the war did that to him, Kuro? Oh, you want to play some cards? He's lost his mind, but he can still play some cards. Delay like crazy. Ah, uh, it's a shame. I wanted to play that card. Got two health. So flips of shit. Oh no, I don't want. Oh man. I don't want to put that there, but kind of works. And this guy's got like thirty-eight health.
I have a hunter. I'm going to get absolutely destroyed here. Attack! Alright, oh, my guy at the top's almost dead there. That's unfortunate. Let's go, Am. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, we, we, had, to, we had to play cards. Um, that one goes through, doesn't it? So let's back him up. And we'll get rid of this guy here. Dolkin got a big card. Okay. So, we want to do... Put one of those back. Luckily that um, Dolkin card there doesn't um, go through, it just attacks. That's a big hit though. Seven damage. That's a big yikes. Wow. We're dead. We got destroyed. That was close. No, it really wasn't. Alright, so what was... What was... What were we doing last time around? Alright, so we... There's a secret base, isn't there? Which we did all the stuff here previously. Yeah, we fought the two devils, the two sisters. But honestly, I can't remember how that sort of like left off. We we did that boss fight, like the Bomberman boss fight. And I can't remember what we was meant to be doing next. Looks like we can do this again, though. Yeah, we've been absolutely loving this Tide Scott. So many like references to like other games and yeah, it's been it's been real fun to play this so far, I'll be honest. Go jump there. Also the jams. Gotta use my special.
Yeah, it's got a really, it's got a really nice soundtrack. I need to charge up the special again before I get to that bit. D boss. What's that acronym stand for, Adam? Want to be up there. Not to worry. Yeah, DBB. I understand DBB, death by box, but... interesting thing about what to speak means in Greek it derives from the meaning to gather or to collect so to speak as a meaning of gathering ideas and words that are in our minds and say those out loud so this kind of theory of mind has of mind as behind to speak this kind of theory of mind I'm not sure I get like the the way I the, the sentence structure on the like, not the sentence there, but it's uh, quite. I, I always quite like hearing what uh, words mean and how they're derived. That's why I love you having you in the stream so much, Mika, because it's always a it's always an educational process when you're around. What? How on earth am I supposed to do that? Short answer is I'm not. DBG. We'll just call them all like death by incompetence. That'll probably fit better, right? Mega Man. I used to have to uh, defeat the boss again. Alright, so... What is it we need to do? Like, I was looking at... I actually... Like learn something about um, like a Latin meaning for a word today about something. And I can't I can't remember what the word was, but I was quite um, intrigued. I don't know why why I found it out or why I was googling it, but I just ended up finding like the the Latin for something. It's gonna bug me now. I might have to go to my Google search history. Can't go north. So that's out of the question.
No worries, uh, Tide Scott. Should we maybe go back to the Pirate Island? speaking to those two. Yeah, but Minos is trapped in a... Oh, I forgot that we had the boat. Yeah, Minos is trapped in like the other dimension, so we can't use Minos at the minute. There's those pirates there, but we can't take the pirates on. I don't think. And there's nothing further north. So I've, for some somehow I've got to be like become a pirate, I guess. So how can I become a pirate to take on those guys? jam from the music. I thought there was like somebody playing loud music outside but no. It's just this pirate jam. Right, so there's nothing on the boat. So the only place I can go back to then, I guess, would be like uh, Windy Ridge, I think. Find SpongeBob's pirate. I need a submarine to find SpongeBob's pirate, uh, pirate, pilot, pirate. This doesn't he live in a pineapple under the sea with SpongeBob? The laboratory. No doubt about it. It's definitely the door to Professor Gyro's laboratory. It's, it is precisely described in a number of authenticated documents that date back to the Empire. Despite many attempts, no one has ever been able to open it. I can't but help wonder what secrets lie within this infamous lab. What's going on, Doctress? Hey, I have no idea. I have an idea. We could just dig here. Why try breaking down a heavy secure door when you can take a shortcut? If only I it were that easy. Several tunnels have been dug out, but they all ran into a ridiculously strong black metal. It would appear this door is the only way in. Precisely! We found we found the demon. Do you think this is like Minos as a child? Did I say that last time? Oh, the Tide Scott is uh, one of your friends, Doctress. Well, nice to know. Well, welcome along again. I appreciate it. And here I thought no one else cared about Professor Dryro. Hmm. 
reading makes me yawn. I do apologise. Underestimated you. You are quite well informed, human. And you seem to know quite a bit yourself. Who are you? Pray tell. I am your worst nightmare. Uh, no, I have to agree, disagree with you there. I, in my worst nightmare, I wake up one morning in a pink dress surrounded by mushrooms that think I'm their princess. Are you trying to tell me in your dreams, your Princess Peach? Brr, why does it always have to be mushrooms? It couldn't be! I remember you! You were with my father 50 years ago the day the Empire attacked us! You are the reason they found us! My father trusted you and you betrayed him! You are the reason they all died! Is this Minos' son? Your father? You mean... Minos? That means you're... His son, Reno. So it is you! But how? You have not aged in 50 years! No doubt thanks to the magic of your sorcerers! Now I shall finally avenge my father's death! No, you're wrong. Sorry, let me do this hydrate for Doctorus. Thank you very much. Your dad, Minus. He's alive. Liar. You disappeared with him that day. It's the truth. When the great Ma Magus attacked us, attacked, we were transported far from here. Very far, in fact. It took us all this time just to get back. Where is he then? My father, where is he? Unfortunately, he's not with us. He's uh, still there. But we're going to save him real soon. I hope so, anyway. If only... If only I could believe you. I wouldn't have had to do the things I've done. Oh, what have I done? It's not too late. You can still stop. But it's too late. Cherry. Plum. How will I avenge you if I abandon my cause now? Beena is telling the truth. Your father Minos is still alive. I'm sure of it. I wish I could believe you. But I will never trust a human. I'm done dealing with you. My father will be avenged! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What in God's tarnation? Alright, I didn't hit him. Man. Can I attack the balls? Okay. I did something. I seem to be able to, like, hit them back at him, I think. Okay. Certain ones I can hit back at him. Let's try that again. It's easier said than done, though. I guess I just stand still when he does like the, that close attack.
Oh boy. He got mad. Oh. Oh man, which one's the real one? This fight's not too bad, actually. Alright, the, the real one's got like a bit of a la lighter, gl uh, darker glow about him. That was the real one there. Alright. That attack absolutely sucks. So I said I was going to like stand still. But I don't think standing still actually helps that. So... Man, this is, uh... This is a pain. Don't like that charge attack at all. That's five of them now? Are you kidding? Jeez. Alright, that ending is going to be something. Yeah, we like we 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 tried to play like a, a variety of games. Um, Tired Scott, so yeah, I uh, try to offer up a nice bit of uh, variation for everybody on the channel. Missed it. Right, we kind of got it.
That attack is the worst. Yeah, it'll be coming soon, Mika. We've got um, a lot of games on, like, that I really want to sort of get to. Obviously, we talked last night or the night before about... Hey, it was last night, wasn't it? We we're going to potentially look, go back to the Talos principle and replay Talos. Um, we've also got, um, obviously, like, Walking Dead, as you just said. I've got the, the Vin uh, House of Da Vinci 2 to get through as well we need to play at some point so yeah we need to i need to have like a proper sit down and, and like decide what games we want to see and when on the channel yeah the charge attacks they're, they're really difficult to like you really hard to evade Especially when he gets like multiple because you never know like which direction he's like gonna come in from with those Let's uh no yes All right, one more hit We did it, boys. We did it! Like a true hero. Oh, how I despise humans. You should not be as strong as we demons. Your bodies are weaker. You lack physical strength. You live shorter lives than us. So why? Why must you always win time and again? 50 years ago, I lost everything. My family, my friends, my father. The nightmare is finally over. I could be with them now. But do not rejoice just yet. Others will come in my steed. Someday, the weapon locked away in this laboratory will be triggered and it will destroy your world. And on that day, we will finally have our revenge. We'll make sure that day never comes. Only time will tell. Rip. Kuro, we did it. We actually managed to change history. The great disaster won't happen and the future is saved. I really wish Minas could have been here with us. Maybe he could have convinced Reno we weren't, weren't his enemies. Uh oh. Look! The energy released by Reno activated the door to the lab. Oh no. Now anyone can access the weapon. Not if we get to it first. We could destroy it. And while we're at it, unearth the secrets held in this palace. What do you think, Kiro? Should we go in? Yes. Yes, it's up to us to prevent the great disaster. Uh, I do already have access to Amika, so... Um, yeah, like I said, we got that coming up soon. Um, obviously, we've got The Walking Dead, the final season of The Walking Dead. Uh, Talos to replay and then still got like a whole host of other games that I've got in my library and never even played I'm sure I've even got more that have been uh, donated to the channel as well so 
Judging by certain scrolls dating back to the Empire, prof prof <laughs> Professor Gyro rediscovered magic technologies. This is a unique opportunity to find out more about them. As a scientist, I simply can't let a godsend like this pass me by. Whatever you decide, Kiro, I'll follow in your I'll follow your lead. But I'm a bit worried about Minus. You tried gifting me House Da Vinci too, but it wouldn't work. Huh. Um when did you try, Atom? Because um Mika gifted me uh The Walking Dead earlier on and he was having issues on the um Uh he was having issues trying to gift the game. And yeah. Uh, Deathwish, what's going on then? Yeah, I have access to Deathwish's library as well as my own. So, um, Deathwish has House of Da Vinci too. So, um, we can play it from there as well. Alrighty then. It's incredible. I've never seen relics like these. I've got a bad feeling about this. It looks like this place was abandoned a hell of a long time ago. I suppose no one's come here since Professor Gyro disappeared. That would have been approximately 50 years ago. Oh, really? That's bizarre, because, like, loads of people have donated games before, and I, if I'm honest, I don't even think, like, anybody has donated who is on the same currency as me. So that's really bizarre, Atom. <laughs> but not to worry, buddy. Perhaps we will stumble on his remains somewhere. R remains Why, well, yes, with any luck. After all, the professor most probably died here. Hmm. I wonder what this does. Eek! A ghost! That looks nothing like a ghost. More likely a recorded message. In fact, why don't we see what it says? February 15, 947. I have just arrived in this time period. I tracked the signal of the def defective model that le led me here. I managed to do away with them, him and the woman. I will stay here and wait for the subject X to appear. End recording. Oh. It's most absurd. Assuredly, P Professor Gyro, he never went anywhere without that mask. So that would imply he too could travel through time? Let's find the weapon and destroy it. Ugh, this place. I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. Simply astonishing. I should be taking notes. So I wonder if, like, he's waiting for Subject X to appear or if they're waiting for us to appear. I wonder. The vat has been emptied for a long time. Complex mathematical formula can be discerned. One symbol keeps emerging infinity. That flickering is annoying. That has been emptied for a long time. The computer is broken. Why not the vat is broken? A diagram of a magilith that seems to show something is hidden inside. Prophecy, water will wash over all the origin of time. So that goes back to us being the great destroyer and... Um, what's going on? It's some kind of alarm, I think. Perhaps we're not welcome here. These guys look especially nasty. I think we should join forces and face them as a group. I agree. Kuro can choose the strategy and we'll take care of the rest. Oh, we've got some proper Final Fantasy action going on now. I love their squidgy sounds. So Velvet and Fiend look like they have magic that we can use.
We won! We got 15 XP in 3G. I think these metallic creatures detected our presence when we stepped on that grating. Watch where we're walking. Blurry images of an odd critter running around some kind of blue hedgehog. Weird. Somebody say... Sonic? Guess we've got to avoid the metal grating, right? As best we can. It doesn't work. I don't think we have much of a choice here. There's no way to go around this grating. Prepare for it to fight. Magic, have we got confusion or heal? Armor of Frost. It's like ice armor? Huh. A combo attack is sweet. Booster is haste, okay. It's like a haste attack. Haste spell. We must find some way to deactivate the grating. We'll never be able to take on all those creatures. Previous security system still online. I just see a Dalek. Alright, so I guess we've got to find the right ones. And deactivate them in the right order here, right? Why are the Daleks? Alright, so that one first. So they don't deactivate, which is good. Of course, you're going to be the one that's furthest away, aren't you? Like I've told you before, Mika, I think a lot of the time you speak better English than most as native, native speakers, so really do not beat yourself up about it. <laughs> it's this one, but... Oh. My bad. But how can I get around it? Smash the pots. Oh, fiddlesticks. Pincer attack as well.
I noticed that like, my health and magic power resets every time, which is pretty nice. That boost delight is proper effective. Not sure what charging does though. I guess it just like gives you a, a like a, a better attack the next time around when they attack normally. Uh, all right, so the Daleks aren't here right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Security system is deactivated. July 14, 949. As expected, Subject X has appeared. Only a young girl at this point, but her power is already phenomenal. I managed to capture her, but I have been unable to destroy her. I have started the energy extraction process, which should weaken her. End recording. Alright, so we know we're not Subject X then, because we're not um, a girl. Huh. What's going on? How are we managing the dark? Uh, hey, the light's back on. I sure hope that doesn't keep us keep up much longer. Yeah, it could be a bit inconvenient. Let's find the generator and try to fix it. Oh boy. I get the impression we need to move only when the lights are on. That's just called getting old, Deathwish. <laughs> Keep learning, but you, the more you learn, the more you forget. Can totally relate. Oh, yikes, Velvet's nearly dead. Uh, that's not good. Wait for a combo attack because Kuro's like attack on its on its own is just like absolutely rubbish. Gah! Now what the heck is that? Oh, never mind. It's dead. I had a weird kind of pain in my stomach. Hmm. All right, maybe I got this wrong. Maybe I need to move. Maybe I need to move when the lights are off. Maybe I got this wrong. Deathwish.exe has stopped. I didn't mean to do that. Why did I wait?
There's one of those horrible things inside. I really hope we don't bump into it in, in an air duct. From the smell, I'd say... <laughs> in an air duct. That's halitosis. From your description... It almost sounds like you're talking about an alien. Yeah. Look in, look in that tube, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to come back with my dis dissection kit. I would love to know what makes those lovely creatures tick. First and foremost, they're not lovely. Yeah. <laughs> it seems she's more often than the other ones. Maybe we can get something useful out of it. I'll see what I can do. These machines don't scare me. Just a bit more. There, got it. This machine was apparently used for... Wow. Or does she mean World of Warcraft? So, what exactly is wow? Yeah. <laughs> you got me there. How's this area? Do not go past the grating. There's a chest. I was waiting for there. I thought, like, wh why aren't they attacking? Yeah. I'll happily lend her my, um, I will happily lend her my, uh, alien quad quadrology boxer if she wants it. <laughs> chest <laughs> All right, this was a mistake. I obviously need to turn off the grating then. try and get that chest. Good spot to grind, though. Now activated the top left console. Good. Now deactivate the bottom right console. 
Perfect. Now activate the bottom left console. Now deactivate the top left console. Does that look like Pikachu? Not that I know a lot about Pokemon, but it's either Pikachu or a devil. You get the impression you're being uh, rickrolled. Not really sure. Oh. This could hurt. to wait for a combo with Kuro it seems the others have the charge ability so keep on attacking Still missing one of the levers though, I've noticed. Well, Velvet's nearly dead. Also, Kuro has lost his um, speed boost. down. Uh, Kiro is about to die though. It's not good. And I healed the wrong person. Fantastic. And whatever. I bet yeah, if Kiro dies, the whole party dies. Uh, 
Ugh, what did I go over there? time. There we go. Doctress, so yeah, you don't have to do that in order at all. You just have to turn them all on, which kind of makes sense, I guess. Hey, there's something inside. Collectible star. December 2nd, 948. My predecessor made great headway. He must have lived here for a long time. In preparation for Subject X's arrival, I have begun to implement an automated security system. End recording. A red ribbon. Totally my style, but it's just, it's got dust all over it. So this is the fake, the fake battle. I don't think he fancies his uh, chance against us three. No worries, Doctress. I try. I try my best to, to keep everybody entertained. Glad, uh, glad you're enjoying it. All right. I think try and get rid of these uh, can these turret things first, maybe. only get rid of them with a combo attack because Kuro can't hit them on his own it seems All right, let's get rid of that one now we can get Fina working a bit quicker Freeze those guys. I think we got this this time. Missed? No. Need to keep Kuro alive, that's the main thing.
Hey, we did it. Next to the check iron. Backup generator activated. Yes, the light's back on. Alert level is now at zero. Security measures deactivating. Finally. I was getting a little sick of all that random combat. How about y'all? Kuro? But it seems that some of us, some of them are still doing their job. Alright, so if they're deactivated, can we go back then? And step on that grating. Where was that grating? Here. Better be worth it. Got Reno card. Nice. Wanna play some cards? Alright. Verifying request to access confinement one. Initializing Turing test. How good are we at Pong? That lifelong question that everybody wanted to know. Can Nock play Pong? Forget all the other questions. Forget all the other games. We'll just do a, a Pong stream, I think, next time. How long do we have to get here? Way we win. We win. Human intelligence recognized. <laughs> well, that was pretty easy to get in there. Are we going to have security if I stand on here? Oh, that's broken. All right, that's fine. No, I are smart. The Daleks back. It looks like we're going to have to go over the grating here, though. Oh. That grating looks to be electrified. It might not be safe. How will we avoid getting electrocuted? We just have to wait till the energy gets weaker before stepping on it. Oh yeah, the Daleks are still on holiday. We got this. Easy stuff. Verifying request to access confinement two. Initializing Turing test. Oh, it's Snake. Snake. I knew my days of Nokia mobile phone gaming would come in handy somewhere. Real life skills right there.
Human intelligence recognized. Awesome. Just when I thought like this game couldn't throw in any more references whatsoever. We get them. We get them. All right, so. What's gonna attack us here? Can we, can we go around? Nope, we have to take it on. All right, same again. Ah. Wow, Fina's dead. Big yikes. That's a problem though, because like Fina's our uh, uh, healer. Can get electrocuted then. Like that. Yikes. Not timing this very well at all. You're talking about the Daleks, Iron? Is that what you're referring to? Statue of the Daleks. During test number three. Oh, it's Space Invaders! gonna do it though if I'm honest. Right, that one's shut so I have a feeling that those um, turret things are gonna come out at me here. Yep. Oh dear. That's not good. Double team though, aren't I? Because um, Kuro is not too good at um, hitting these on his own, is he? We got some double teaming going. Not really sure what Kuro was stood on there, but hey ho. Yeah, quite often, actually. Snacking is one of those things which uh, I'm very guilty of.
I find sometimes with certain foods, like if you've started to like get a taste for something, then once you've like had something, you, you kind of that taste is still there, and you kind of just want to keep snacking or eating or grazing, as uh, it's known. Oh, Pac-Man. Don't be a jerk. Yay, we win. Clearly I spent far too much time in my youth playing uh, arcade games. If I'm completely honest, I don't think I actually spent enough time playing arcade games. <laughs> It's going to be a big fight here. Of course. No, I didn't play that many, to be fair. I'll be honest, Mika. Just got the heal there. Oh, it was very low on health. Didn't take any notice there at all whatsoever of the um, electric. I'm not sure how like the electric works. Uh, sorry, not the electric. The uh, the magic works because I kind of seem to be getting magic power back. I'm not sure how. I'm all right for that in a minute. Not that I play it, but those like big robot guys, um, like. The one with like the red thing on its head kind of remind me of um, Among Us. I say not that I play it myself, but all right, we got this. I do kind of remember from um... oh man. Uh, from like when I was a kid, though, like my my favourite arcade games of all time were um, there was the Simpsons one, and then there was um, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one as well. I just remember when I used to go on uh, when I used to go on my family holiday, we should be straight down the arcade as soon as we get there to play those two games. I never played Among Us. I never really like caught on to the hype of it either. I um, I occasionally play play Fall Guys with like my kids, but I don't really tend to play a lot of like trending games as such. Time flies. War is approaching fast. Find a solution. Get 
the impression that's going to escape. Oh, what a cute little critter. Maybe we should free it. I don't think that's such a good idea. Is this final boss? What in the world is that ghastly thing? Looks like a giant slimy brain. It must be the result of an experiment gone terribly wrong. I just hope this isn't a horror movie, because then we're all goners. Only the hero survives that kind of thing. Oh my goodness. Apparently those metal creatures have decided to protect it. Oh boy. Okay. This is going to be big yikes. I really need a heal on Velvet. So to heal Velvet, I'm going to need to do that. And then that. Did I heal the right person? Yes. What was that? I'm not liking this one. Whatever that big brain just did, it like absolutely wrecked me. Alright, so now we can concentrate on this big dude here. Um, just looking at who needs a heal. The horror flashbacks intensify. Thanks, Mika. <laughs> We beat it. Woohoo! Didn't even level up. Oh boy, this looks like something. July 16, 949. Subject X is resisting more effectively than expected. Her power has. Vi visibly diminished and the energy thus removed is now stored within the weapon i will loosen my grasp on her in order to in order to question her end recording looks like um 
she escaped if this is where she was being kept captive. Just saying. So that's what the weapon is? It's energy. Pure energy. Taken from whoever Subject X is. We haven't found Professor Gyro, but he sure didn't seem very nice. Why would he do such a thing? I don't know. But maybe. Maybe he's had his reasons. Maybe he wanted to protect something. Or someone. <laughs> Severe nightmare after solving all the puzzles. Protect someone? I don't know if that really justifies such a risk. When you love someone, you do all you can to protect them. And you, Fina, who would you protect? <laughs> Kuro! You've protected me ever since we met, from all kinds of things. So, so I'd like to be able to return the favour. But for that to happen, you'd have to be in danger. Best not wish for something like that. That's true. With all this travelling back and forth in time, I'm starting to mix up cause and effect. The world was so much simpler before. Everything had a beginning and an end. You couldn't change what, what, what had happened. You could only regret things. I wonder what will happen when we finally destroy the we weapon. What will become of the future you visited? All the people who live there. I'm especially worried about Minus. He's still there, stuck in a time that's not his own. What will happen to him? Minus, Prince of Demonia? I still struggle to believe you actually met him. You realise that thousands of pages were written attempting to explain his disappearance? I would have loved to meet him. Now, how do we destroy this thing? There has to be a way. Everybody freeze! Oh dear. If you thought you got rid of us, think again, because we are... The Imperial Special Forces! <laughs> These guys crack me up every time. Give it up, you're surrounded. And this time, you actually are. You'll have to beat us to get away. Don't give them any ideas. Personally, I don't want to face them one bit. They look pretty darn strong. Give it up without resisting. What do we do? Want to give them a beating? Kuro, are you alright? He's not actually going to speak, is he? My head. Hurts bad. It's gonna monologue like Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. I remember. That weapon. I have to... Kuro, no! Don't! Weapon 001 activated. Annihilation imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Kuro! Why did you do that? Everything will be destroyed because of you! Forgive me, Fina. This voice in my head. Who are you? And this is like massive Sephiroth vibes from Seven. It's all over. Uh oh. It's like Sephiroth being in Cloud's head. That's... That's pretty good. That's the end. There we go. That's the end, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Catch you later. Bye. Only kidding. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's just the beginning.
Dual personality. Achievement unlocked. Mom? That you? There. There now. Just relax. You've been asleep for almost nine hours now. I had a horrible nightmare. I dreamed I went back in time. It was terrible. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1049. 1049? Hey! Who are you? You're not my mom. A name. It's been a while since I needed it. You can call me... Seros? Ceres? Ceres? Seros? Ceres? I have a feeling we've met before. I was just a young girl. And here's the famous Kuro. Reunited again after all this time. You know Kuro? Then maybe you can help him. Help him? I already have. When we first met, you helped him escape from the Imperial Guards. I owed you in kind by saving you from the weapon's explosion. The weapon? It's horrible. The great disaster did happen. We were supposed to prevent it. But, Kuro... Not everyone can escape their destiny. Fina? Where are we? The weapon? It exploded and then... Velvet! You're okay. What a relief. The weapon blew up. And then... Car Caress? Caress? Caress. Saved us. I think she brought us to the future. The future? Since we're travelling through time, I'd rather be at the time of the Magi. Caress, is that your name? You seem unique. Neither human nor demon. My father was a demon and my mother a human. Well, I think so. My memories are all blurred. Amazing. I don't think there's ever been a case like yours before. You truly are unique. Let me examine you. I... Velvet! Caress saved us from the explosion. You should really be thanking her. Sorry, I'm fascinated by mysteries and anything out of the ordinary. Hey, speaking of mysteries... Kuro. Are you okay? Got your wits back? About what happened in the weapon room. We don't need to discuss that. Kuro never wanted it to happen and it's not his fault. We just have to use another Magilith to go back to before that moment and stop the weapon from exploding. Great idea. However, that might create a space-time paradox. I'm not sure what will happen then. Well, it's our only shot. Sadly, it's not possible. Magilists were designed specifically to prevent that sort of thing. If you return now to what is your present, you'll always arrive after the weapon is triggered. No! That can't be! My village! My family! May I ask how you know this? Only the ancient Magi knew, knew how the Magilifts operated. I... I don't know. I have memories. And sometimes I see things that are yet to come. For the Magilifts, I know it won't work. How fascinating. It's possible your heritage bestowed you with abilities no one has ever seen. As for the weapon, there is another way. Really? Oh, you're awesome, Caress. It won't be that easy. But with the magic key, we can indeed accomplish this feat. The magic key? One of the three legendary magic, magic artifacts? You know where it is? It's rather complicated. The magic created the key as a kind of safety. It was supposed to remove something from the fabric of time. But it was far too dangerous. So they broke it and gave each fragment to a leader of their time. 
For a long time, I have been looking for these fragments. I think I know where they are, but I will need your help to gather them. So that's it. I never thought that time itself could be changed. Well, not before meeting Kira and Fina. So if we use the magic key to remove the weapon from time, it would have never existed and it will never have been activated. Exactly. That's perfect. Let's go find those magic key pieces and wipe out that heinous weapon once and for all. I do hope the consequences aren't worse yet. Kuro, I have memories of you as well. I think we share something. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this, it's important. you got a control terminal, which looks like a Nintendo NES controller. This item allows you to journey through the ages. With it, you can activate the Magilifts. Use it to find all the fragments. I will open a pathway for you all. Alright, so now we can freely travel through time, right? Kuro, you'd like to know about the pieces of the magic key? Information about which fragment? So there's... Wow, there's four, five fragments. Have you met the pirates before? Their hideout com can be found in your presence, near a volcano. They possess the fragment of fire. Information about which fragment? When the Empire ruled the land, before the frozen continent began to melt, there lived fierce Vikings. They guard the fragment of ice. Okay. Far to the southwest lies an island, and on that island is a timeless forest. And deep within that forest, you'll find the fragment of nature. Okay. Demons locked a fragment away in their most sacred temple. But its location was lost when Demonia was destroyed in the Great War. <laughs> Alright, so... We've got pirates, vikings, island, demons, and... Said to be a special magilith in Windy Valley. It's supposed to it's supposedly grant access to the fragment of time. The one most shrouded in mystery. Okay. So there, Mika. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Take care, buddy. Okay. Beam me up, Scotty. Okay, so how do we know what, um, how do we know? Okay, so this is after the explosion. Alright, so I can't go back up to the top of the 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 top of the thingy there, the top of the mountain. Alright, so I can't do a lot in this time at Windy Valley. I wonder if I can... She didn't say... I 
can't go to that island at the minute. She didn't say like what age and what time I needed to come to this place though, did she? It's obviously the volcano where the pirates hang out. I think that's the small island that I need to come to. heck are you on about oh wait a minute oh i'm only theorizing it's equally possible we will end up in my era or that of miss fina and solid snail but as miss fina would say i fear we have no other choice anyway exactly off we go kuro we won't know till we get there and i don't want to stick around in this future They've disappeared. Why did I fail to leave with them? What am I to do now? Aha, we're gonna get Minus back. That's mad. Minus, am I glad to see you again. Solid Snail, Miss Fina, I thought you'd vanish forever. That must mean the magic lift did not serve its purpose. Actually, it did. It worked just fine, but it's a long story. Where should I start? I can hardly believe it. My son, uh, a terrorist and the weapon. But I mustn't worry so. Reno is no longer a child in this era, so he surely must have fled before the explosion. Perhaps I shall see him yet. I too was rather surprised to see them materialised out of nowhere. And when they told me everything, I had trouble believing it as well. Who would believe someone claiming to be from the future? I wasn't truly convinced until after speaking with Caress. Caress. Can we trust her? She saved us from the weapon's explosion. And she told us how to collect the shattered pieces of the magic key. I am well aware of that, Miss Fina, and she has my deepest gratitude. Without her, I would never have seen you two again. But my father always told me that everything comes at a price. Why exactly did she come to your aid? That much I would like to know. In any case, her knowledge about the magic can't be questioned. The sparse descriptions of the magic key I studied Confirm her explanation. That changes nothing for my son. On the contrary, if we wipe the weapon from the timeline, Reno will never have thought to try to activate it. A sizable chunk of history will be rewritten. To be perfectly honest, the very thought of it frightens me. How can we be sure there won't be unintended consequences? Well, I'm not going to sit around doing nothing. There's always a risk, no matter what you do in life. And frankly, it can't get much worse than this. I agree with Miss Fina. Regardless of what we change, the situation can only improve for me. For us, definitely. Perhaps not for everyone else. But then, I suppose it's worth a shot. I really hope we're doing the right thing, Kiro. Quick, let's bring the piece of the magic key to the car caress. I'm pleased to be helping you once again, Solid Snail. Enos joined the team. And we've got four people in our team now. It's crazy. Alrighty then. Alright, so I guess we just gotta kinda like look around then. Um I wonder if we can get back to the demon village now that we've got Minas back in our party. 
Maybe he knows where the um, hidden demon treasure thing is. Possibly. Uh, also, though, we need to go to... Was it here? We need to do some upgrades. Waken ally. So I'll upgrade both uh, Fina and Velvet. Focus longer for a more powerful attack. Sorry, man. I think after your mammoth livestream, though, you're going to be famous enough as it is, so you won't need the extra help, man. Oh, we'll take another green potion because we take more than this. for you, darling. I didn't know if he was AFK though, buddy, to be fair, so. Oh, well, that's uh, completely yikes. Yeah, the moment I'm too quick for you and have better reactions from you, man. You're in big trouble. Right, let's go and see if we can see our friend over here again. Hi friends, it's good to see you again. Even if my pot's budget exploded, I hope you're having a good time. I can change into cards, but that's about it. This is going to annihilate me. That Reno card is going to be something. If I can get it to play it, that is.
<laughs> I'm not sure about that, buddy. that three is. It's another six damage though. I almost leveled it off. <laughs> we win! I lost again. There, you deserve this card. Yay, we got his card. Alright, well. Not like he's got anything to tell us, so... That was a little bit of a waste of time. I'm not sure there's anything in this time frame then. Maybe all we had to do here was pick up Minus. Don't really... I don't think there's anywhere else to really go, is there? Isn't there like a load of excavation stuff over here though? Yeah, the cards are completely uh cards are completely optional anyway, Deathwish, so People that like say that, then you can challenge them to a game of cards. Yeah, basically. Ooh. Interesting. Five. 
Let's see what he uh, pulls out of money. How many of these cards he got? Take out the one with the most health first, I guess. This dude seems to have like a lot of those um hit for five, hit for five, that'll kill him. Oh, that's it, it's game over. Left his defenses opened at the bottom. C4 PO. <laughs> Actually excavating for here. This kind of seems like a pointless whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Diamonds. I wonder if they're like looking for like the demons buried treasure that um Caress was talking about. Also, um... No. Whether she could, uh, if Fina could actually... Um... I wonder if she could, like, change the whole thing there. That thing nearly killed me. Seems busted anyway, so I don't see what good it would do us. Yeah. Maybe I could use it to fly. Alright, so I don't think there's anything to be done in this timeline. They don't want to play no cards. I wonder if you could... Pl Sorry, that was a massive like voice crack kind of moment there. I wonder if you could play um, the same person more than once. Twin different cards. So how do I use the... So I guess I'm stuck in this timeline then until I've got what I need. And then it will allow me to go to the next one, perhaps?
See, these guys won't let me past anymore. to go though is there well the only place I haven't been is Geneva but Did I make a note of your last one? I'm sure I made a note of your last one somewhere. In amongst all my work notes. probably did but I can't find it because I've got that much random stuff on my uh, on my notes all right we're gonna go with um, I've got, loads, I've got loads of numbers written on my notepad and I'm just like, I don't know what numbers equate to what. So we're going to go with 30... 35,826. some cards was too high, wasn't I? Thirty-seven oh four six. Thank you. 
need some big hitters on the board. Oh, that's three. That could be a mistake, but I'll try and do something. handed to me. I mean, if the computer wants to just keep filling up its board, I mean, look at how many freaking the amount of, like, ability points the computer has right now is just absurd. They got seventeen of the the blue points. Not what else I could do there, really. We dead. The old guy, like, pulled my pants down proper. That's where we get distracted, isn't it? damage. Alright. Exposed at the bottom though. It's not good. And he's going to take out my guy at the top. Oh no. Oh no, the sword means first attack, doesn't it? First strike, so... Yeah, we got lucky there. Take this guy out here. Yep. Why didn't the blue guy get to attack though? I don't fully like understand the rules of the game. It's for two. Take that guy out. Man, I'm gonna get played here. What the hell is that card?
We died. <laughs> Man! This guy's... This guy's asking for it, I tell ya. It's those defensive plays that he keeps making. All of my cards are like really expensive. It's just like the computer does a great job though of like storing up their ability points. That's where I'm struggling. Because all of mine like take. All of mine, um, my decent cards at least, have high like play value. Some philosophy for us right there. And look, he's up to like 12 usage points. It's going to inflict like 7 damage. The archer will get in from the back, yep. Because he's like stacked, because the computer's stacked now, it's really hard for me to do anything. It's completely stacked. What's going on, Megas? Hope you're well, buddy. He's got one of. Uh, let's say he's got one offensive card on the board, but um, yeah, but I mean, okay, let's let's go for more of a. Try and go a bit more ability oriented here. All right. That's going to hit five. One back. Be seven.
Well, that's it. It's game over. It's going to hit seven again. At least seven. Uh, nine. Big sad. He's just got like some real powerful cards and he kind of like builds up all his um, ability points and he can pull out the big cards later on. But I don't really have that luxury. The cards he's got are a lot, um, a lot better than out, better than my cards. So I don't even think it's worth trying to beat him at the moment. I don't think I'll, I'll get it done. Could I use my best one at the end and that would have saved me? Alright, let's see if I can work this out. I was just going to give him an extra point. Alright, I'm just going to try and build a buffer first. It's gonna hit me for four. This is gonna hit me for four and he's gonna get three back, so I'll take him to seven. Hit him for five. Do I play this on the board? I'll leave him with three. I think I've got to put it here to defend against the archer. Okay, so now... The bottom safe. Play one here to defend against the archer again, and then we bank these ones. My bottom row loses here, though. Okay. I have health. That will take this guy out. We bank this one, put that to defend at the top. Get an extra one back. Uh, it's going to kill this guy. Got to bank that one. I think we play both of these. Uh, he's going to get the first attack. No, that'll be alright actually. Maybe. Uh, he's saving up. against one archer. Ah, I need to move the archer back, man. The fact that this guy has got... I don't want to put that there. Let's just go all out. Yeah, and then he pulls out his freaking 10 luck.
Unbelievable. Once he like fills the board up, it's like you got no hope at all. Taken him down to 13 if I'd have repositioned that uh, card, so it's maybe a bad move on my part. <laughs> Two archers. Not too bad. damage if I play that against that. But he gets first attack of one. Alright. I'm quite impressed actually. That's like the first damage He's uh, done to me. So once he starts pulling out those cards, it's really hard to defend against. That's going to kill. All right. Might have won this. Five damage. Hold on. It's four to play it. Yeah. I th uh. I'm going to be short by one. Archer will go over the top. So that'll be six. Bank that one. Watch him pull out like a ridiculous card now and absolutely annihilate me. Bank, bank. Five should go through and my arch should finish it off. Yes! We did it! <laughs> we got the Dean of the Library! the Dean. That, like, that's the killer card, and it's it's one to play it. I wonder, so I want to just check here. 
If I go back and like try to like take him on again. If I beat him, it's a big ask. If I was to beat him, do I get a different card from him? Have some of your own medicine. He's not putting up a fight now, look. Yeah, okay. So you're only, you, you can only win one, one card. Um... All right, well, I think, guys, that is going to bring it to the end of the stream. So tomorrow, we'll pick this up again tomorrow. But we need to try and understand, like, what we need to do in this timeline. Because I, I believe we can't progress from this timeline until we've... Um, and go to the next one until we've, like, worked out what we need to do. So we need to find, like, the, the part of the key here. Um, so that'll be tomorrow's quest as well, I guess, with... Um, a few more games of cards but thank you very much everybody for tuning in. i appreciate the support as always enjoy the rest of your day until next time i've been knock you've been awesome stay safe and until next time happy game cheers guys thanks bye, -bye.